All right. Let's try this one more time here. Go all in or go all out. Go in moderation, but don't go without a plan. Improvisation for the actors, the musicians, the comedians, the ones trained to riff on the fly. Yes, you are a creator. Yes, you are an artist, but you are tasked with the responsibility only the bold can deliver. The safety and productivity of your team, the certainty and assurance your clients require, the health and welfare of the people living and working inside your creation. For you are a builder and you are building the future, but you are not alone. You have an ecosystem of other creators at your fingertips, many of them showcasing their products, their service, and their sage advice at the plethora of trade shows happening this season. Because you may have been running through the showroom floor or hopping between meetings and training sessions, there may have been a few golden nuggets of wisdom you missed. Or some lessons that were so good they are worth repeating. So today on Dave Cooper Live, we are sharing one of the many highlights from BCMC, the Buildings Component Manufacturers Conference. Tune in to hear what Tim Warren from MyTech had to say. Randex CEO Ola Lind and COO Ola Skuglin had to say about what's happening in the world of automation and how the U.S. market compares to Europe and what's next for the future of construction. Here on Dave Cooper Live. All right, without though our sponsors, we are not able to deliver all these informative conversations. So let's give a big shout out to our friends, Carson Holmquist and the team at Stream Logistics, experts in high stake freight, the perfect choice for projects with timelines and specific delivery sequences, shipments with high complexity and unique constraints. The new methods of construction need new transportation solutions and they are up for the challenge. Visit them at streamlogistics.com. Also a big shout out to our good friends at CombiLift, the largest global manufacturer of multi-directional forklifts and straddle carriers. They are a leader in long load handling solutions, offering a free warehouse and site optimization design service. CombiLift helps companies of all sizes and from every industry maximize the capacity, safety, and efficiency of their team at Com and of their warehouse and storage facilities. Thank you to Paul Short and the team at CombiLift for helping us to all build it better. Visit them at CombiLift.com. And we can't do it without our automation, guys. Brave Control Solutions, where off-site manufacturing systems that do more than just improve productivity. They have a unique approach to industrialized construction, a lineup of flexible automation systems specifically designed for the construction industry and powered by CAD to Fab and turnkey solutions for 3D volumetric assembly, structural insulated panels, finished wall assemblies, MEP component processing, assembly kitting, and storage. Learn more at thinkbrave.com. This week, everybody, we are back on the road again. I hope everything is coming through loud and clear and not the uh, Darth Vader voice that was happening earlier. Um, we are heading to Tovey. Modular Manufacturer in Ohio. We will be live on location this Monday. So stay tuned for that. Today is a special day because we are getting on the road. We're going to play you some highlights of things that you might have missed, just like the open monologue said. So sit back, relax, and enjoy what you're about to hear, what you're about to see, and especially about what you're about to learn, especially if you did not make it to BCMC. Let's get into Everybody, it. Everybody, we are at BCMC, and we're on our second live walkthrough of the trade show floor, and we are standing with Tim Warren in the MyTech booth. Tim, how are you today? I'm doing well, Dave. Thanks for having me. We're excited to be here. It's been a great show the first two days, a lot of buzz, a lot of energy, so yeah. we're off to a good start. Yeah, there is a lot of people here today, and it's turning out uh, yesterday, and today's turning out to be the same. It is, and generally we see a little bit of a slowdown on day two. It's a busy morning, so it's exciting. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about what you do and, and what your role is here at MyTech. My role at MyTech is uh, vice president of our automation sales group, and we're really the consulting arm for both our field sales team and then the customers that they represent. So we provide a lot of internal support for that group. Sure, so what are we gonna look at here? Is you got a big booth. In fact, I think the biggest booth here at the, on the floor Show us what we're going to, I guess, tell us what we're going to talk about, yeah, and then we'll show sure, it. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, the booth represents, you know, our end-to-end -end solution yeah. at MyTech for the component manufacturer. So behind me is, is one example of our 
our software demo stations. Our software solution starts all the way at the front end of optimization and design and quoting, but it also drives our manufacturing and production side of the business for, right. for our customers. So it is a you know kind of an A to Z solution, and we like to be a whole house supplier for the component manufacturer. Yeah. So this component, this component manufacturing suite is available for demo. Anybody can come down, stop in, talk to several yeah. of our software professionals that are here, and they can walk you through the offering. So talk, talk me through what does the what is the demo like? So what would people be seeing when they try it? It can be very specific or it can be very broad. So if you're looking for um, 3D design software, we have components for that, business management solutions, production management solutions. So it, it can be... Um, a very broad demo or we can get very specific into one area of their business. Yeah, I love it, love it. All right, so we have some more stuff to talk about. You want to talk about this uh, match point sure, here? Yeah, this is so let's walk over. new to us for the show. We've, we've built out an interactive experience. Yeah. Um, so these are all touchscreen driven and this is really showing kind of what we're working on and these are these are new development projects within our, within our automation portfolio right. that are coming in 2020. Let's walk over here. Can we touch the screen and actually... Uh, so, this is, this is the 3D rendering of the next generation of our blade saw. Yeah. So t in the years past, we physically had Gen 1 saw blade here. Okay. This is a representation of, of blade Gen 2, which is the next version of this saw. And it's it, the screen is all very interactive. So you just kind of walk you through the saw, the capabilities, what it looks like from kind of the end feed, the user interaction and what we're upgrading and, and improving upon from, from Blade Gen 2. So there's some live videos you can walk through on this, shows kind of the configurability of the system and, and really what's new and coming and gives our customers some idea of what is in the pipeline right, for us right, right. forward. So, I mean, it's really great that there's all this interaction, right? We're seeing a lot of that on the floor today where people can actually not only talk about it, but visually kind of see how things operate. And I think that's so important for our industry. And it is, and it's, you know, the next generation of technology around our industry. It's, it's very much a digital platform. Right. And it becomes much more, you know, within my tech, we talk a lot about let's build it digitally before we physically build it in the field. Right. That pertains to our automation as yeah, much yeah. as it does for our CM customers who are working with their builder partners and having a platform where they can digitally build a home. Right, right. And find all of the opportunities for improvement before they get into the field and it's rework and reship and rebuild. So Absolutely. the digital platform for our industry is growing and it's growing very quickly. Yeah, it's really growing fast, right? The technology, uh, it's all in the tech stack right now. It really is. Sure. And, and that has not been the DNA of our industry no, legacy. Hasn't. Yeah, but it is. A, we are adopting it very quickly right. as an organization. All right, well, let's walk over here and uh, check out. So, what are we going to see over here? So, we'll move to kind of the middle part of the booth. This is another example, Dave. While we're here, this is the next generation of our components. So right. Same interactive experience no, as, yeah. as our linear. Okay. But this re, this is the next gen of a of a legacy Cyber AT. Got Calling it. it the Momentum Saw. It's a complete redesign. Same function, okay. performs largely the same tasks but completely upgraded components, electronics, increased throughput, reliability, safety. Right. It was just, it was time for a refresh. The sure. Cyber AT was, a, it was an incredibly, has been an incredibly well-performing solution sure. for us. Okay. It was just time to bring bring a next generation. Of to it, and that's what we're looking at here. Well, you just hold on to that, we'll walk over here. Talk us through where we're headed here. So we have a, a VR experience in the center of our booth this year. We had a similar experience okay. last year. The difference this year is we're really launching our capability around plant optimization okay. and working with our component manufacturers to expand their current operation sure. um, or, or remodel or refresh what yep. they have today. And again, it's the concept of being able to build it digitally, right. walk through it virtually yeah. before they commit to a new greenfield facility or upgrading the facility right. they right. have. So our solutions architects are regionally based. They work with the district sales managers in those areas, but we're drawing these plants in 3D That's CAD right. through the Rabbit software platform. And then from there, we can move it into a, to a virtual reality opportunity. Sure. So we have some example manufacturing facilities here that we've drawn. Sure. People are welcome to come down. You can either look at it 3D on the screen or you can put on the goggles and you can walk through four or five different trust right. plants standing here in the middle of the microphone. Last floor. year I was here at BCMC and I put on the goggles and you actually, it was inside a trust, it was in a manufacturing plant. Yep. And literally I could walk through yep. 
and see in 3D in real time exactly what that plant was going to look like and how it was operating. Yeah. I, it's super powerful. It really is. And you can see material flow, you can see right. product, and then you can do some fun stuff too. It's probably the only safe way you can stand on top of a plant right, right. if you want to. Yeah. You can do that virtually here if you want. All right. So hey, listen, if you're here at the BCMC in Columbus, Ohio with us right now, they can come and try this out, right? We're, we're ready to go right now. Yeah. Put it on and we'll, we'll do it. Uh, perfect. So we're going to head over here and talk about some stuff as well. So walk yeah. Through where we're going. So back here we've got some a floor cassette display and yep. really trying to, to show the capabilities of what open web floor systems can truly provide to yeah. the builder but also the subcontractors that they're working with. So the, the open web, whether it's through a traditional wood web floor truss or it's the metal web posi yeah. strut option, just gives everyone the op gives the trades an opportunity to get on and off the site faster. Well, it reduces the cycle time of the builder and and really an opportunity for us to build better with newer different technology all right so just so i understand so these cassettes are coming as we see them in four foot sections it looks like on at least on this one here this may be larger than that. this is an example yep. and, and there are manufacturers in the u.s who are building these as cassettes yep you also get them as individual joists okay um they can be Floor truss is built to length. There's trimmable products. There's a lot right. of different variables and options, and it's a, it obviously is meant to fit each regional part of the country and the demands that they have. Yeah, for their market. sure. But I mean, it, it speeds up the entire process, makes it safer, makes it easier to to build, and it gets people walking on solid floors much much faster. But, and a value like engineering we're opportunity. Yeah, yeah exactly. Just drop right. into place. Yep, yep. yep. Yeah, and I mean, it's speed to market. That's what that's what people are looking for out there. I love it. So what else you got? I mean, you got everything in this place. Well, we we like to try to show, again, an end-to-end -end solution yeah. for MyTech. So we understand that it starts with the component manufacturer and their relationship with their builder customers. The more that we can offer to allow them to integrate right. and get closely connected to that builder community, we just want to facilitate that process. Mm -hmm. we, we are passionate about the manufacturing piece of that yeah. being so critical to the component manufacturer today especially as labor just continues to be a challenge. Right. So the more solutions we can bring to the table that allows them to grow their business, yeah. offer more solutions, and do it with less physical direct labor in their facility is the way our industry has to move to grow. Yeah, for sure. And that's what, you know, that's the growth is, is what we're looking for and, and bringing more and more opportunities for offsite construction yeah. to the component manufacturer. Yeah, and so my tech's vision for the future, what are you seeing? more of the same more yeah. more more of where we're headed in this direction so that integration uh let's build it digitally before we physically build it in the field yeah. let's collaborate with the builders right. the trades and and let and my tech just wants to provide the tools to facilitate right. the communication the discussion that's right that's on the front end once we've got the problem solved we've got the riddle ready to go then we can manufacture the product one time accurately speed up the time on site yeah and get more homes in the field for, for people who need them. We have an inventory shortage we in do. the market, yeah. and we want to just try to help the CMs and the builders solve that problem. Yeah, depending on who you talk to, I mean, it's five to seven million homes. That's a lot of homes. We've got a homeless crisis happening, you know? It is, and-, and Affordability you know, as well. Affordability is a bit, and so this is a driver to that as well. Yeah, absolutely. We want to, you know, better building is something we talk about a lot at MyTech. Yeah. Better means a lot of things, but if it's higher quality, it's faster, and it's less expensive, pretty good definition of better. Yeah. All right, so hashtag better buildings or hashtag build it better. That's, That's right. what my tech's doing. So appreciate you walking Dave, us absolutely. through. Absolutely, appreciate yeah, it. I Thanks love for it. Being here. Thank, thank you for doing all these visuals because I think most people, they understand digital twins, but I don't think they understand it until they see, wow, I can really see that screw or that nail. You know exactly what your material costs are as well. That's the other side of this. I bet you have this down to a science where you know how many nails go on each board. Driving to a bill of materials. Less waste. Understanding less waste. That's exactly what it is. So yeah. it is not an assumption of I think this is what I need. That's right. Because that assumption changes from job site A to job site B. Absolutely. Cool, man. All right, buddy. Hey, appreciate, appreciate you. Today. Thank you to my Thanks tech. It's just by coincidence that both your names are Ola, right? Yeah, it's pretty much coincidence. It's pretty much coincidence? <laughs> it's so, definitely a coincidence, yes. Yeah, so, yeah. So Ola is uh, our CEO for uh, our robotic division, and I am the CEO for Randek. And you're a CEO for Randek, right. And we are a Swedish-based company with uh, uh, 
and we have our American right. company here, and we are focused on uh, innovation and yeah, automation. Sure. Yeah. So Randac has been in this industry for a long time. You, you're pretty well known as the you know automation side of it with the robots. You work with some of the biggest facilities uh, in the world. Why don't, why don't you tell us a little bit about like who you are, what you do, and then we'll get into who the customer is. How about that? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, so uh, Randac is a pioneer, you could say, in the automation industry for offsite. Yeah. And uh, it's been that for many, many years. Uh, lately, we've been focused on robotics, together with our other broad range of the portfolio. Yeah. Um, the company operates uh, with customers in over 40 countries, and uh, we're really excited to be here. Yeah. Really, uh, the VCMC, it's a great show. And, uh, yeah, and I think, I think we have been here now for more than 20 years. Coming to BCMC yeah, for yeah, 20 years? It's really fantastic to come here to meet our existing customers right. and new customers and, and drive the innovation. It's and our focus that, to be an innovative yeah. company and we are looking to reach out to our customer here and uh, pioneering the industry. Right, yeah. but that's kind of what's been great about this show in general. I mean, there's, there's a lot of innovation happening yeah. here Absolutely. and there's a place for everybody here. So what are, you, what are you guys working on that you want to share with us? Is there anything big coming out? Well, yeah, we are introducing a new uh, cell here, robot cell for insulation, automatic insulation. So that's wait a minute, new. you got a robot that's going to put in the insulation yeah. on the line? And blow in insulation, yes. yes. Blown insulation. We have it on a video here, you can see it later on. Yeah, yeah, it's we'll come and get some of that video and show yeah, that. Yeah. So it's fully automatic, uh, features two filling plates with one hopper. So the whole idea is to be able to speed up the process. So in a fast moving production line, you can actually, in just one element length, be able to fully automate the insulation process, which is a kind of dirty job, right? Yeah. So, uh, but with conventional equipment, you would need two table lengths or two element lengths. Right, right. So when you're also with robots, you get the flexibility, as we always say. We can have offline service position. Yep. You don't have to crawl into the machine to service the stuff. And so it's been popular. We already sold uh, quite a few in Europe for now. And right. okay. we're hoping the US will follow. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's, it's kind of trending towards that. More value into the walls, right. more uh, maybe insulation is coming, closed walls. Sure. We hear people talking about it. We see a rapid change here in the US for yeah. technology. Yeah, you're seeing a rapid yeah, change, right? This is a great, definitely. yeah. The labor shortage. Many a company wants to go for prefabrication and automation, so it's we're trying to driving the change. Yeah. So let, let's let's hit on that a little bit, right? Because you know, in Europe, you know, they're they're a little bit further ahead with ex adopting the new technology and what's going on. What do you, what, you you just said that you're seeing it starting to grow here? Tell me a little bit about how you guys see that growing here. I think I think one thing we're seeing is. Uh, kind of skipping a beat here. You could go from having a pretty basic setup to jumping to pretty high automation levels, yeah. which yeah. in Europe maybe that wouldn't happen. You would gradually climb up the ladder, right. so to speak, in automation scale. But here it's it's um, it's more progressive. I think many people are realizing that change needs to come. Right. It needs to come now. Uh, so and, and I mean, the labor shortage is, is uh, driving that change. Yeah. yeah come over that you need technology and you need prefabrication and I mean if, if in the United States if I have the right figures we are producing about 1 million homes every year yeah. and a hundred thousand of them is prefabricated and the rest is stick right. building. Yeah that's about and right. I mean that's changing yeah. and it's changing quickly now. Yeah. And we have the right technology for that. And what is, what is it in Sweden? Would you know what the percentage is that's being done off-site? I would say it is the opposite, 9 to 10. Yeah. yeah, nine so to ten. Like sure, sure. So as we see the industry grow, talk to me about how people work with you, right? So here I am. I have a manufacturing facility, and I've been asking this around, you know. And I want to start incorporating some technology, or I want to start a new manufacturing facility and incorporate technology. You know, how does the process begin? Yeah, well, um, they reach out to us, and we work together with the customer in a close manner, looking at layouts, flows what kind of equipment is right for that customer. Yeah. I mean, one customer could be perfect with a robotic solution for the next one, it, it's not right. right. I mean, so you have to look at the scale of things. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, some, some people ask us, can't you put a robot here? Can't you put a robot there? Of course, you can probably do it everywhere, but you right. need to put them where they do the most effect. I yeah. mean, there's a budget for everyone. Right, right, so, right. Um, 
Well, that's kind of what it is, right? There, there's having robots and then there's having efficiency yeah. and really having somebody that's been through the process, lessons learned, to help put it in place so it's efficient for the customer, yes? Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. That's correct. And this year we are here together with our partner, SCM. Okay. Who is more concentrating on cross laminated timber. Uh, and they are our new distributor for the right, North American right. market. Yeah, so, you know, the CLT market, uh, we were just over, I was telling you guys, I ran into you last night in Switzerland, right? And I just couldn't believe, you know, they were using CLT, this lumber, 12 inches, you know, thick, roughly for the floors, and I think it was maybe nine inches or eight, eight yeah, somewhere yeah, around yeah, the walls. Very thick, and very, yeah. and, and, and that's part of their normal build practices. Yeah. I mean, that, that's not seen here. No. That, that's coming more and more. I mean, for high-rise building, for example, to to take the load in yeah. the building, you can use cross-laminated timber. So, right, right. It's also driving a change there. So, where do you see the biggest growth? We're talking about technology. You see people starting to adopt it. That's a big theme here that we're hearing, right? You need to do the digital twin, build it first, and then you know, build it digitally first, and then put it through the line. But where, where are you seeing the biggest growth? I think the, the data, the data collection and the data yeah. handling, it's all about the data and will be in the future also. Being able to, to get the data out of your machine, to, have, to, to use the data for your future production, to, to save all this and to utilize it. Right, I think right. that's important for yeah, all machine right. manufacturers. Yeah. Customers. Does, but I mean, like data, like it makes no sense to me. Everybody uses data except for our industry. Like we're just adopting something that everybody else has done, you know, 20 years ago, right? Yeah, 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 yeah it's like that. But I mean, it's like I say, take the robots, for example. Uh, if you look at one of our movies, like the five robot cell, it looks like an automotive line, but yeah. it, it's a big difference. Right. And the big difference is that uh, you have you have to have the availability to produce whatever you want. Right. If it's a car, you know if it's a hatchback or a sports car, the robots in this example know what to do. But yep. here we need to produce different walls every time. So right. we need to adapt and, and adapt with the programs. And right. then the data becomes very important, of course. Yeah. And what, what is the, the team like when you actually go and put a system in? There's, there's, there's got to be a team of technologists that work with the customer to get them trained and up to oh, speed. Yeah. Is that how it works? I mean, we have a, it's a long installation, depending on the size of the, right. the project, of course. but. We talk about the three-month installation where we send a team of, for example, four technicians making the mechanical installation, electrician come off, the programmers, project managers, and so on. And then the customer take over the line, and then we support them, of course. Yeah. yeah. So it's a process going on, and then... So you build a relationship, right? It's ongoing. We build a long relationship, yeah. 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 So you basically become an extension of their team. Yeah, you could say that. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. You agree with that? Yeah, that's a good description. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. So every day, just uh, tell me real quick, what's your everyday life like at, at Randec? At Randec, well, uh, it's uh, for now it's a lot of uh, material questions. Yeah. Like the whole industry is suffering from material shortage. Right. Uh, we do a lot of um, requiring, trying to get a hold of materials to be able to build a machine. I think the whole industry is suffering for that, We're looking from the builder's perspective. Right. So the chip shortage is sure affecting us. But um, aside from that, I uh, have a lot of... Uh, in and then we'll lose ourselves for a few hours in the sketches. So that's it. Yeah, right. that's, that, well, that's what you should do every once in a while. And how about yourself, your day to day? Yeah, very much focus on innovation and uh, supporting my team. That's right. Yeah. We and have I, a good time right yeah. now. Yeah. And, and I Even love it. Even if we have the material shortage, we have a, a fantastic team working on this. And we have some new fantastic machinery will come up soon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, in, uh, so BCMC has been good to you guys so far? It's super good, super awesome. good. I love it. We are very awesome. grateful for being here. Yeah, yeah. well, we're said, very we grateful have to have you. For, I think 20 years. 20 years, I love it. Well, there you have it, Randek, everybody. Ola and Ola, let me get the, the, the Lind. Huh? Ola Lind, yes. Ola Lind and Ola Skoglund. And, oh, Skoglund. Skoglund, yeah. Skoglund. Yeah. So, COO, CEO yeah. here at BCMC all the way from Sweden. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Hey, Steve, how are you? Do you remember? Which part? Last year. I do remember. Yeah, we did a podcast after the show. We did, with your, with your trust, your, this. Correct. I can't remember, right, the trust brace. Well, it was the, it's now 
fast and mess, so I appreciate all the... Uh, you Here, know. hold that. Go ahead. No, I, I, I seen you, Dave. I just want to thank you for the job that you guys do, getting the message out, yeah. social media, and what you're doing with Dave Cooper Live, because uh, it was crazy, the response, uh, you know, after the, the podcast that we did. Oh, really? Great. Um, it was fantastic. Uh, you know, there was a lot of people after the show. There was a big buzz, obviously. We right. talked at the show, which I owe you a cocktail. Yep, Remember? yeah, I'm available anytime. <laughs> okay, so Except anyway. Right now. <laughs> uh, no, I just want to shout out, thank you. Um, okay. Now we are... Uh, we have organization behind us with Fast and Master, and uh, we have the capabilities where we can now get the product out yeah. across the country, and that's what we're doing. We just got this launched in August right. with Fast and Master. Um, you know, they, I mean, it's, this truly is an innovative system. That's why we stopped and seen it. And I have to admit, you know, I think it was Steve Schrader from Hundegger or somebody told me to stop and see you, I believe, is what it was. So, But listen, I, I think it's great. I, the, the testimonial, you know, I, I just love hearing that. That's what we're all about is helping people grow. And the fact that this led from something else from, you know, and we helped with that show makes me super happy. It was awesome. Again, yeah. it's, uh, I was excited if you see the kickoff, you know, changing the way they said trust is. So this would be a big part of it going forward because uh, it's, it's innovative. Yeah. And it's uh, safety is a sure. big thing. And it's, uh, it yeah. saves time and labor. So uh, I'm excited. Again, I thank you for last year. You're welcome. Getting, help getting that word out. It's uh, beneficial. I love it. I, I awesome. love the fact. I mean, you look happy, and that's what it's all about. I got permigrant. You do. So, <laughs> to, uh, but no, show seems. Uh, I think everybody's happy with the show. Seems yeah. uh, awesome. Dude, this show is amazing. There's a ton of people here, right? Yeah. I'm so, just excited now that we can actually get the product. Where last year we just I didn't know what I was doing. How do people this, get? How do people get a hold of you? Uh, it's a uh, Fast and Master Trust Brace. Yeah, sure. Roof uh, Trust Support System. Uh, great. They have a lot of other innovative products that help uh, from a safety aspect. Yeah. Efficiency. Uh, this fits in well to their port portfolio. Right. Um, so that's what I'm excited about, getting yeah. out to uh, the builder, so. Love it, man. Steve, thanks for stopping us, dude. This is amazing. I love right. when I hear this moment. All right, we're going to follow Jen that way. Right. I will I will catch you for that cocktail before I leave. Right. I never turn down a good cocktail. All right. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, that's really what the show is about and how exciting it is. Like, we just got stopped randomly uh, and thanked by somebody that we had on the show. All right, everybody. Awesome. So this is some of the stuff that we are trying to bring to you when we're live on location, just like we're going to be live on location at Tovey, T-O-V-E-E, -E, uh, this week in Ohio. Hopefully we'll be able to showcase what they're doing within their manufacturing facility uh, using cold form steel, which is going to be great. And I'm super excited about going out there and showcasing that. Uh, and then we got BCMC coming up and we're going to be out uh, in Denver as well in the next couple of weeks. So a couple key takeaways from this walkthrough and it really just on the things that we that we were uh, just showcasing a little bit right one randek has been coming to bcmc for 20 years so there must be some value when we go to these shows you know some of these shows like bcmc uh which in my opinion is still on the top of the list of one of the best shows out there where people are there to learn and do business and see the machinery that's out there. So if you haven't gone, you definitely want to take it out, uh, check it out. Uh, this is not a paid for show. This is a uh, show because I'm hitting the road. Got to get on the road here shortly. Uh, and then also remember that Randek was saying that fast change is happening in the U.S. while it's only incremental change in Europe. So it's even more important to connect with the right partners. Sometimes fast isn't better. Incremental automation isn't a bad idea. Learn from others who are in the space. This is what we do when we go to these shows, and this is what we try and do here on Dave Cooper Live, right? Other quotes. There is having robots, then there is having efficiency. Make sure you are taking the right steps forward, and you're going to be doing that with the right partners. And then there is delivering quality, val quality value, and speed is hard. Don't make it harder on yourself. Crawl, walk, run is a thing. That is a thing. Crawl, walk, run, just as in life. And then you also had my tech and Bryden Wood, and we've covered this a lot in the past with both of them, the digital to physical. How do you take the digital to physical or put the physical in the digital? Either way. Improvise, improvisation, no. Precision, yes. To quote Margaret Whelan, improvisation leads to waste. Do we have a housing shortage or do we have a waste problem? Do we have a supply chain shortage 
or do we have a waste problem? Margaret Whelan has a whole different view on that. And that's a topic for a entirely different show. So for those of you that have tuned in to watch a little bit about what we are going over here today and talking about on the show, I hope that brought some insight value to you. We are hitting the road. We're heading to Ohio. I will see you Wednesday from Tovey. Stay tuned. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to be in their manufacturing facility, and we're going to showcase some of the products that they have been working on. So that's a wrap, everybody. Thanks, everybody, for joining today. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Thank you to BCMC and the SBCA, because that's who puts on BCMC, uh, for allowing us to join their events and showcase all these wonderful, uh, wonderful people that are there to showcase their goods, their products. On Dave Cooper Live, it's all about the people, the products, and the process. And we're going to keep bringing that to you each and every week. So have a great one, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. Bye now.